hello children today we will start our discussion from modern periodic law modern periodic table okay students so the periodic table uh, of the elements which is based on modern periodic law is known as modern periodic table okay students so as you all know that mendeleev's classification of elements in the form of a periodic table was based upon the fact that the physical and chemical properties of the elements depend upon their atomic masses in other words mendeleev regarded the atomic masses of the atomic masses as the most fundamental property of an element okay students but in the light of modern researches this is no longer true and that is why uh, we need to uh, discuss this modern periodic law and modern periodic table next heading is moseley's classification so moseley has showed that the atomic number and not the atomic mass is the most fundamental property of an element and is responsible for its physical and chemical behavior so basis of classification of elements is changed from atomic weight to atomic numbers okay students so uh, basis uh, in modern periodic table of the elements uh, basis of classification is changed from atomic weights to atomic numbers and this credit is goes to moseley only okay so most of the defects in mendeleev's periodic table disappears when these uh, defects disappears if the basis of classification of elements is changed from atomic weights to atomic numbers moseley arranged elements in increasing order of atomic numbers in seven horizontal rows called periods and 18 vertical columns called groups this forms the basis of the modern periodic table okay so in the modern periodic table elements are arranged in the odd increasing order of their atomic numbers okay so this now the modern periodic law the physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers okay instead of atomic weight the term is changed atomic numbers so uh, rest of the terms of this uh, periodic law uh, are same as was in mendeleev's periodic law and the change is of only this term atomic numbers hence elements if arranged in increasing order of atomic number showed similarity in properties after regular intervals okay students so this is termed as periodicity in properties so reoccurrence of the periodic properties after a definite interval of time is known as periodicity in properties okay now the modern periodic law added new dimensions to the periodic classification of elements based on the modern periodic law several new periodic table have been proposed in recent times among these new periodic tables the long form or extended form of the periodic table is found to be the most useful now what is this modern periodic table or long form of the periodic table so the picture of the long form of the periodic table or modern periodic table is given in your book 
you can see it from there or uh, this is modern periodic table or long form of the periodic table okay students so uh, this periodic table is having number of properties number of properties uh, this is having and few i want to uh, discuss with you uh, the left most side left most side of the periodic table is having metals whereas right most side right most side of the periodic table uh, there are non metals are present okay so most active metals are most left side and most active non metals are most right side okay and at the extreme right of the periodic table a group 18 is there group 18 which is also known as group 0 and the elements which are present here are known as noble gases or inert gases noble gases or inert gases why these are known as inert gases because uh, these all are having a stable electronic configuration that is why they are not reacting at ordinary conditions okay students so that is why these are known as noble gases or noble elements so 18th group elements are known as noble elements helium is having duplet state of electrons whereas rest all other elements having octet state of the electrons in valence shell okay students so then 17th group elements 17th group elements are known as halogens and these are the most non metallic elements halogens so halogens are the most non metallic elements of the respective group okay of the respective group 17th so these are the halogens before this uh, oxygen family or group 7 16 is there the elements of this group are known as elements of oxygen family or chalcogens chalcogens okay students so same way here the first group elements are known as alkali metals alkali metals and the second group elements are known as alkaline earth metals alkaline earth metals so after first and second group there are 10 more groups from group number 3 to group number 12 and these elements which are placed in these 10 groups or 10 vertical columns are known as transition elements transition elements okay students and below this long form of the periodic table there are two series of the elements which are known as lanthanide series and actinide series respectively and two series and these two series elements are together known as inner transition elements okay students so inner transition elements so most of the elements in the periodic table are metallic in nature most of the elements are metallic in nature so group number 1 and 2 all elements are metals group 3 to 12 all are metals and also lanthanide and actinides all are metals okay students so but this right most side from group number 13 to 18 all three types of elements are present all three types of elements means metals non metals and metalloids okay students so these all uh, these halogen uh, elements are the strongest non metals then boron silicon germanium antimony these all are metalloids 
and aluminium gallium indium these are uh, elements are metals okay students so you can say from group number 13 group number 13 to 18 all three types of elements are present in the periodic table all three types of elements means metals non metals and metalloids okay but uh remember it that most of the elements are metallic in nature okay so just so again once i'm going to repeat all the points these are alkali metals first group alkali metals second group alkaline earth metals group number 3 to 12 transition elements or transition metals group number 13 to 18 Group number thirteen to eighteen, all three types of elements are present here in these groups: metals, non-metals, and metalloids. Below uh, to the periodic table, two series are there: lanthanide series and actinide series. These two series elements together known as inner transition elements. And the elements of group eighteen or group zero are known as noble gases or inert element. Okay, so just one more thing here. Ah, uh, this is the element beryllium, and the number which is written as a superscript is atomic number, and you know that atomic number is represented with alphabet Z, and the number which is written below to the symbol is atomic mass relative to atomic mass. or atomic number or mass number not atomic number mass number so atomic number is z and mass number or atomic mass is a okay students so the value of atomic number is always less than mass number atomic number mass number and this is a symbol of the element and this is name of the element okay so just so this table is modern periodic table and also known as long form of the periodic table the next is reasons for periodicity in properties so after definite intervals of atomic number reoccurrence of similar electronic configuration okay so students so in long form of the periodic table elements are placed in the increasing order of their atomic number and you can say that on the basis of their electronic configuration okay so reoccurrence of similar electronic configuration takes place for example sodium with electronic configuration 281 and potassium with electronic configuration 2881 so these two are having similar electronic configuration that is why these two elements will show similar chemical and physical properties okay so students so since properties of elements are dependent on the number and arrangement of electrons including electrons in the valence shell elements having similar electronic configuration have similar properties okay so just so any such elements which are having similar electronic configuration will have same properties then periodic properties include atomic radius ionization potential electron affinity so what is atomic radius atomic radius is the distance between the center of the nucleus and the outermost shell okay students so let this is the structure of an atom and this is the nucleus so this nucleus and this is the outermost shell let this is the outermost shell of an atom so the distance from the center of nucleus to the outermost shell center of nucleus to the outermost shell 
will be considered as atomic radius okay students then second property is ionization potential what is the ionization potential amount of energy required to remove an electron from the outer most shell of an isolated atom so isolated atom atom which is not having any type of surrounding any type of surrounding will be known as isolated atom okay so the energy required to take out outermost electron outermost electron or most loosely held electron from the from the outermost shell of an atom is known as ionization potential so let this is the outermost shell of the atom and this is the electron which is present here so the energy uh, required to take out this electron from here will be known as ionization potential okay students and after removal of this electron this remaining part of the atom will attain unit positive charge means it will be change from atom to unit positively charged cation okay students the next property is electron affinity the amount of energy released when an atom in the gaseous state accepts an electron to form an atom so it is reverse of the ionization potential in ionization potential we are going to take out an electron from the isolated atom and here we are uh, giving an electron to the isolated atom okay students so energy released this is the difference energy released when an atom in the gaseous state accept an electron and energy required to remove an electron from the outermost shell okay so this is the difference so after accepting an electron the related atom will changes from neutral atom to unit negatively charged an ion form okay students then some silent features of the modern periodic table silent features first arrangement arranges elements in increasing order of atomic numbers in seven horizontal rows which is no which are known as periods and 18 vertical columns as groups then periods each period begins with element having one electron in outermost shell and ends with completely filled outer shell elements okay so as you can see from here in this modern periodic table this is the first element of period 3 and its configuration is 2 8 1 so third shell is having one electron and this period is completing here in argon and argon configuration configuration of argon is 2 8 8 8 so outermost shell is completely filled okay so period is starting with one electron in outermost shell and completing with octet okay students so then across a period is a transition from metallic to non metallic character so from left to right metallic character of the elements decreases and non metallic character increases then groups group 1 and 2 are reactive metals group 3 to 12 are transition elements or transition metals group 13 to 17 contain non metals in the upper right hand corner group 18 contains noble or inert gases okay students so to this much uh, in this lecture thank you